Right, see, I'm at news time, 849 on this Thursday morning. 64 degrees, nice cool start to the day. We're headed into the upper 80s. Going to be another beautiful day out there for you. Not too much humidity. 70 right now in Boston as you get rolling. On News and Talk Radio, 508-438-0965. The number to call in because we've got a real special treat for you here. Hank and Sherman with you, of course, as we are every morning between... Five and nine, but Erin Olis is joining us live in the studio. She's from Holden, Massachusetts. She's a rising country star. And Erin, thanks so much for coming by. Thank you for having me. Now, you're going to be uh, performing at Holden Days on Saturday, and WCRN is a proud sponsor of Holden Days. We're going to be at the music stage, and I get to introduce you at 9 a.m. You do. So you're (laughs) you're kicking off the whole show. Yes, and I'm very excited. I've always wanted to perform in my hometown, so I'm now getting the opportunity to do so. Now, tell me a little bit about about how uh, you got started when it uh, on this path. You, you went to Wachusett High School. Yes, I did. And uh, the, the chorus for Wachusett High School backed up Kenny Rogers? Yes. for my When I was in high school, we did it three years in a row. Um, so it was a huge opportunity, huge honor. And, you know, performing with him at his Christmas shows in Foxwoods and Mohegan Sun, I really... It, gave me the opportunity to say, you know, I kind of want to do something like that. And then it, it kind of took off from there. I got away from the opera, classical music that I was trained in, and then started doing country for two years now. Now, and then now I want to get back to the fact that you were, you were classically trained and how that maybe, you know, plays a, a part in, in, in your music and is maybe different from a lot of other pop performers who probably just, you know, listen to Christina Aguilera and, mm-hmm. and want to kind of, you know, do what she does in, in, in your training. But I've got to believe that Kenny Rogers here, you know, uh, as you said, three years in a row, the kids from Wachusett High School did it. I'm sure that he had you know, that this is something that he does wherever he's performing. And he gives all these people this opportunity. So he's literally is taught now to thousands of young people. But Aaron, he talks to you and you go, oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go out. and I'm going to write songs and I'm going to become a country star and everything else. Every kid sitting there probably said the same thing, but you actually did it. What? I mean, there has to be. What? What's the, st- the the perseverance that goes into this? You know, I, I, you know, I've been working really hard at this. Um, it's just something that I love to do. I've always loved it, and you know, I want to make it happen. So you got to put the work in and make it happen. So. All right. So now, what have you done so far? You've already had some accolades. I mean, this things have gone pretty well. We, we, yes. we have to say so far. Yeah. Um, well, last I mean, I perform a lot, and then last year I competed in a statewide competition through the New England Country Music Association. And I won a state title, so that qualified me to compete in Tennessee um, this past March. And I ended up winning a national title for that. And then um, I competed in the same competition again um, this past April. Now, now what's the national title? You're like Miss Massachusetts of Country Music? or what's? <laughs> it was um, the 2012 Female um, Future Star Award. Wow! So, um, congratulations! No, Thank no, you. that's uh, no, that that's fantastic. Thank you. And so then, next March I'll be competing again in Tennessee. So, and that obviously opens up a lot of doors. Oh, definitely. You know, I'm hoping to move to ten, uh, to Tennessee, maybe in a couple of years. So. If I get some connections while I'm down there, that's perfect. <laughs> if you're in country music, you've got to be around Nashville. Of course. Yeah, that, I mean, <laughs> that's course. really... It, it, but, but I think that also shows your seriousness, too. Of I mean, it, there's plenty of kids, who, again, who are... Uh, and you're not a kid anymore. We should point out that you're in college. You're no longer in, uh, in high school. But there's plenty of young people, of course, who, again, are sitting in their, in their hometown. They're doing what you're doing. They're going out and they're playing. But, again, I, w- what I sense from you and just from, from reading about you is this drive that you have that is the talent has to be there but there does seem to be this other part of it that there has to be the drive that you said you know you go out and you perform all the time uh you went out you know and you win that award and then you leverage that you're going to college you're going to get your degree but then you're off to nashville i mean you know you so you really can see where the progression is going to be i'm I'm curious though because every step of the way of course the competition just gets tougher and tougher you've had a little taste of what it's going to be oh yeah in nashville what's that like when you're up against all the other people who are the best of the best it's it's kind of it's intimidating because you know you have these true southerners who are amazing and so you just got to step up your game and try to beat yeah, them. The, now the true <laughs> southerners now did did you get uh did they give you a hard time what's a girl from holden massachusetts know about <laughs> singing country music no i mean all the people down south are so nice and just 
awesome. But, you know, I've never really come into that situation. But, um, you know, I put my own southern twang into my singing. So, <laughs> Sherman, are, are you ready? Are you revved up? Do you want to hear Aaron uh, sing a song for us this morning? Oh, I'd love to hear it. And when you talk about people from Massachusetts, there have been a number of people who've actually gone down to uh, Nashville and, and have success among them. Most recently, uh, Jody Messina for one. Is that somebody that you've been compared to, Jody Messina? Who, who, do, who do you get compared to? I mean, I I like, would like to think that I'm kind of like more Carrie Underwood, Miranda Lambert, Bert, mm-hmm. um, Martina McBride. Those are like my top three influences. Mm-hmm. So I try to play off their music. Interesting. All right. Well, Sherman, way back in the day, used to be uh, a, a country. Uh, this was this was back when there were two kinds of music, country and western. He used to be uh, a, a country DJ. <laughs> Uh, Sherman, what was it? What was what was your ne- your name back then? Uh, when I was doing uh, when I was working at a country station, there were times I would be uh, doing a show overnight, and a couple of people uh, would joke jokingly call me the Midnight Cowboy. The Midnight believe. Cowboy. Can you believe that? I can I can believe it. I like that. All right, so uh, we'll, we'll 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 get your take on this in just a moment. Aaron, set this song up for us if you would. This is one that you've written yourself. Yes, it is. This was my first release that I released. Um I think this is the beginning of this year, called Crossroads. Um, I wrote it just because I had some inspiration. Um, you always see these kids, some of these kids, um, growing up a little bit too fast, and I would like to, you know, have them take a step back and just be a kid for a while. You know, I'm, I'm still a kid at heart myself, so I really love this song. So. Wonderful. Aaron Olis on News & Talk Radio, AM 830 WCRN. Mm-hmm.
you can uh, hear Aaron Olis, who you just heard live on News and Talk Radio WCRN, this Saturday morning, 9 a.m., kicking off Holden Days. Aaron, people want to hear. That's one that, that you wrote. Congratulations. Fantastic song. They want to hear that. They want to get a copy of that or some of your other music. Where do they go? Well, you can go on to my um, website, um, www.aaronolismusic.com. You can also check me out on Facebook. Um, and Reverb Nation. Fantastic. And that's E-R-I-N-O-L-L-I-S. Check it out. Thanks, Aaron, for being here. And as always, thank you for joining us on News & Talk Radio WCRN Worcester, Boston.